Please read into math lesson 17.2, part two. Number two, Tasha buys six avocados for $7.14 at the store. How much does each avocado cost? So what's our total? $7.14. And six avocados. And then how much does each avocado cost? So what, how many flats am I going to draw? Seven. How many long? One. And how many small cubes? Four. Four. Okay. How many groups do I need to have? Six. So I need to draw six circles. Okay. Now, do I have enough flats to go in every single circle? Yes. yes. Now I have another flat. Do I have enough to go in each circle? Yeah. No. So I'm going to have to break this flat into 10 longs. So now I have a total of how many longs? 11. So let's go ahead and put one in each one. Okay, so I got rid of six, right? How many do I have left? Five. Okay, do I have enough to go in every one of those? No. So what am I going to have to turn those into? So I'm going to have to turn these into 60 small cubes, right? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hold on, how many? Did you have 11? So we had 11, we got rid of one, we had, oh yeah, 50, not 60. Sorry. Okay, so how many do we have? Or we have to 18? Okay, 19, 20, 21, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Because I had a total of 54, right? Because I had the 50 plus the 4. Which, what is that? Or 54 divided by 9? 6, right? Okay. Or 54 divided by 6 is 9, right? So, how many... Flats do I have? One. How many longs? One. And how many small cubes? Nine, right? So, how much does each avocado cost? $1.19. But also to check it, let's go ahead and check it. So, we had $7.14 divided by six, right? What do I do? Bring the Decimal straight up, six into seven, one minus six, one. Bring down the eleven or the one to make eleven. Remember, once we bring up the decimal, do we act like it's there anymore? Nope, we just work around it. So eleven divided by six is one minus six is five. Bring down the four. Six into fifty-four, nine minus fifty-four. Anything left over? Nope. So does this match this? Yep, so that worked. On your own, number three, a race official wants to place water stations between the start and finish line so that the race course is divided into three equal sections. What is the distance from the start of the race to the first water station? Okay, so we have three sections. Our total is six and 2100. What is the distance from the start of the race to the first water station? Okay, so what do I need to draw first? Six. 
flat. How many long? Two. How many small cubes? One. How many circles? Three. We'll have three groups. Okay. Do I have enough flats to go in every one of those? Yep. So there's one, two, three. Do I still have enough to go in there? Yep. One, two, three. Okay. Now I have two longs. Do I have enough to go in to every one of those? No. So we're going to mark these off and then I'd have 21 small cubes, right? Or not 21. I do have 21, but I just converted that, those longs into 20 and then I still have the one by itself, right? So let's go ahead and put them through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Did I just get rid of all those? Yep. So what's in each one of these? How many flats? Two. How many longs? Zero. How many small cubes? Seven. So what is the distance? Okay. So two and seven tenths of a mile. Okay. So explain how you used your drawing to show this. So basically, we took and drew six flats. Um, two longs and one small cube and three groups. So we broke the flats into the groups and we didn't have enough longs. So we converted the longs into 20 small cubes plus the other one, which was 21. And then we dispersed them out, right? Okay, Joaquin cuts a board um, that is four and 6,800 feet long into six pieces of equal length. How long is each piece? This one, since they didn't ask for a picture, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys just work it out in the house. If you decide that a picture would help you, then you could do that too. All right? So what goes in my house? 4 and 6,800 divided by 6. What do I do first? Bring the decimal straight up. Four in, or 6 into 4 is 0. 6 into 46 is 7 times minus. 42, 46 minus 42 is 4. Bring down the 8. 6 into 48 is 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. Anything left over? No. So my answer is what? 7,800 of a foot. Okay. Use a concrete or visual model to figure these out. So these you have to actually draw your pictures, right? Okay. If we run out of time before we get finished, you would still need to finish the whole page, right? If we run out of recording time. All right. So, how many flats? And then this is number five. Like I said, if you guys need more paper, then you can get more paper or an extra piece of paper. How many walls? And also remember, do your pictures have to be huge on your paper? No, just enough to where you can read them. All right, and then how many um, groups? Six. Okay, do I have enough flats to go in every one of them? Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get rid of six of them, right? Then I have one extra flat. Do I have enough to go in there? No. So this is going to get crossed out. I'm going to go 10 more. So now I have a total of how many longs? 20. 18, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Did I use all those? Yep. So how many flats do I have in each one? One. How many longs? Three. And do I have any small cubes? No. Nope. So our answer would be one and three tenths. Okay. 
And then I'm also going to check it. So I'm going to take 7.8 divided by 6. So bring my decimal straight up. 6 into 7 is 1 time minus 6. So 1, bring down the 8. 6 into 18 is 3. All right, number 6. How many flats? Four. Okay. How many long? Five. Okay. How many groups am I going to have, guys? Five. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. Do I have enough flats to go in there? Nope. Nope. So this is going to become how many longs? Forty. Forty longs, right? Okay. Plus my forty or plus my five I already have, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Do I have enough to still keep going? Yep. Okay, number seven. 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 Okay, Yep, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Did I get rid of all these? Yep, so what do I have in each one? How many flats? Zero. How many longs? Nine. Any small cubes? Nope, so my answer is nine tenths. Let's work it out just to check it ourselves. Five by five, bring my decimal straight up. Four in, or five into four? Yeah, five into 45. Nine. Anything left over? No. So our answer is nine tenths. Okay, number seven. Okay, how many flats? How many long? Four. Four. And how many uh, small cubes? Five. Okay, how many circles? How many groups? Seven. Do I have enough small cubes to go in there? Yes. Okay, so we have two small cubes left, right? Or two flats left, sorry. Okay, do I have enough walls to go in there? No, so these are going to be crossed out and made into what? Long. 20 longs, right? Okay, so let's keep going. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I got rid of that and I have three left. Now, do I have enough longs to go in each spot, each group? No. So this is going to get inverted to 30 small cubes, right? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and start bringing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, right? Okay, so how many flats do I have in a circle? One, how many longs? Three and how many small cubes? Okay, that's too close to the pause button. So one flat, three longs, and five small cubes. So one and thirty five hundredths, right? Okay, let's check it real quick. So we have nine and forty five hundredths divided by seven. I bring my decimal straight up. Seven into nine. One minus seven. 2, bring down the 4, 7 into 24, 21, 3, 